Welcome back to the Day One Podcast. I am Adam Daly. And I'm Brett Nord. Thank you for your patience these past couple of weeks. Um, there was some travel and, uh, well, medical yes. in- issues that I had. <laughs> but we're back and we're excited to be with you today because we've got a lot to talk about. You know, before you do that, we have at least two listeners in the Facebook community that said they noticed that we didn't record yes. last week. Yes, yeah, thank so you. So Fenny and Audrey. So thank you for you Thank two. you for noticing. Hopefully you know, there were others. If too. we go missing, you know, maybe people will pay attention then. <laughs> yeah. <all> right. <laughs> Good. Uh, thank you so much for your patience. We're excited to be back. We have a guest today as well online. We're ready to talk to him about day one and, and his use and tips he may have for us. So, Jan from Berlin, say hello. Hi, Brad. Hi, Adam. <laughs> hello. <laughs> Good to have you with us. I love international. Thank you very much. Yes. Thanks lo- a lot for having me today. Yes. Sure. We're, we're excited. I love, sorry, I was going to say, I love international uh, guests. We get to connect with people all over the world. It is a little bit late where Jan is, so we won't take up too much of his time. Um, but That's all right. <laughs> we've got some great stuff to talk about today. As you may have noticed, the release of Day One 4.2 hit the App Store. It's uh, a was it last week? Uh, end of the week before? We can have. Um, and with the launch of iOS 13, holy cow, there was some struggles. I, it's that's there's no easy way to say it. Um, as soon as 13.0 hit the floor, there were crashes. Uh, so we hit, did a hot fix for 421, and then there were still some crashes. And then I, 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 Apple released iOS 13.1, and then 13.11, and then 13.1.2. Um, so it's been kind of an interesting couple of weeks here for software but i think we're finally at a place there, there's still some things i know that the team is working on behind the scenes just to make sure that this is really stable with ios 13 uh, but thank you for your patience we're we're excited to have these things out to you especially number one templates, templates. we've been talking about this for so long and they're here uh, we're so excited to hear your use cases for them and what you're using them for uh, hopefully see some examples of what those look like and and right. uh, the idea is that we'll be able to create curated uh, templates mm-hmm. in addition to the ones you create for yourselves mm-hmm. and offer those as an option. So we're very excited about this feature. It is available to basic plus and premium users. So I want to make that clear. It is available to all users. As yes. far as future uh, templates that we offer, I don't know if those will be included in all sure. one. Those might be upgrade packages as far as part of premium. But as of right now, any user can go in and create their own templates or use the ones that are set there already. So very exciting. So much to talk about. I've got some great examples from the Facebook community of people that are already jumping in and using them. Very, it's, so. they're great. And we've, we yeah, we've seen some cool things, people tracking movies, their mm-hmm. daily life. I saw, we saw one for whiskey on, uh, yes. on the community page. That was great. Like <laughs> tracking all the flavor notes and stuff. I thought that was fun. Um, yeah, very cool stuff. The taste, including, what was it? Painful. Painful. That was my favorite part. <laughs> I can't. That I don't was think good. I've ever had whiskey that was painful. But. Yeah, that's that was interesting. Um, <laughs> yeah, so templates. We hope to get feedback from you. If you're not on the community page, get on there. Share your templates. Share mm-hmm. what's working for you. They do work with Siri shortcuts, so you can go in there. It is one template per journal. Uh, we've had a few requests seeing if that you know that can be modified. I sure. forwarded it on for you know to see if that's a possibility, um, but they're really great. Mm-hmm. And in fact. This is a, not, a, not a spoiler, I guess, maybe a little bit, but our uh, Paul Main found this way to use the Shortcuts app mm-hmm. to create dedicated little shortcut buttons that look like app icons. And you can actually put any image you want right. for that iP- app icon. You tap on it, it loads the, the shortcut and pretty much just loads whatever you want right into day one, mm-hmm. just with a tap of a button. Mm-hmm. So we're looking at maybe adding that to a newsletter and sending that out, so stay tuned. We've got some fun stuff coming up for you. You know, Mark Burbridge does some great stuff in the forum too. Mm. He shared some, some uh, shortcuts he's been doing. I was like, I love this. Did you see his post about that? I didn't. Not he yet. talks about when he opens up day one, it automatically sets. Well, I think he's got a trigger. Okay. Right? Yeah, short, 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 yeah. Shortcut. When it opens up day one, automatically sets to do not disturb on his phone for 30 minutes. It says if you have a more recent phone with the NFC oh, yeah. ability, he has stickers you can place around the house to do jobs like a sticker near his fridge. It says open, uh, j- Open grocery list. Oh man! <laughs> tap one, tap put on your desk to open your email. A lot of fun. Wow, there's a lot of customization. He gets that in can his car done. and he says, "Hey Siri, let's go." He looks in his calendar events, mixes the default locations, gives him a quick list, taps for voice for directions, music plays. Heck yeah! Heck yeah! <laughs> I love it. There's a lot of customization that can be done in the Shortcuts app, and and I know mm. 
our our integration is pretty much just creating an entry in there. We have forwarded some feature requests to the team to look at what else we can manipulate in there on our end and make that more versatile for users. So yes. we're looking into it. Um, video recording inside the app is now available. So you can open up uh, an entry, start up the camera, and use it for video to record up to a three-minute video in inside the app. So that's great. End-to-end yes. -end encryption is now enabled for all users. Explain that. Um, well, and what I want to say is uh, there may be some confusion around end-to-end -end encryption. So it is primarily designed for, or, or, or only de designed for, encrypting your data in, tra in transit to and on our servers. Okay. okay. So now we're enabling that. No one can access your data via our servers without your master key. Mm -hmm. uh, that key is synced through securely through iCloud Keychain. Yes. If you have that enabled on your devices. You should. But also you can save that key via PDF or print it, mm -hmm. have it secure. I've done that with my 1Password mm -hmm. uh, master key. So the vault. make sure it is secure for yourself. And you know we want to make sure your data is protected. So. Right. Anyway, the share card. Oh, I love this too. The share card is very cool. So when you want to share an entry, you can tap this new option that says view shareable card and it will present this cool little thing. And what it defaults to a beautiful mm -hmm. portrait oriented size that you can load right into Instagram stories. And it's got a little piece of your text and then it'll include a photo. You can change a few of the settings like removing our logo or removing the text or changing the size. But if you tap the little Instagram icon just at the top, it'll load right into Instagram stories if you've got it on your device. And I just think it's fun. Sure. And even, even if, if you, you don't, don't use it. Oh, sorry. Go. No, you were, you were going to say it. Go for it. Jinx. Even if you don't have Instagram, you can share with your family and friends. Yeah, send it as nice a formatted card. message. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very cool stuff. There are a lot of updates uh, mm -hmm. that came into 4.2 and 4.2.1. Mm -hmm. So check out our release notes on our help pages at help.dayoneapp.com. Yeah. You know, why didn't we just name it 4.5, 4.5 when there's so many cool things added? Oh, I don't know. Why not? I don't know. Or 5.0. Yeah, sure. Is that what you mean? I don't know. <laughs> 10. The, you know, the number, the number. The, <laughs> we talked about this. The yeah, we've, we've, had, we've had release notes <laughs> discussions. Um, but the team has, has worked on making them uh, the That's same good. for Mac and oh, iOS parody. as well. Yes. So the, those are the same. Templates yes. are coming to Mac later. Can I mention that? I've seen the I've seen some of the designs. They look great. Uh, mm -hmm. It just it, they're coming. So mm -hmm. anything else? Good stuff. I know a few of that. Well, we can talk about it when we get to templates. Sure. About shared templates. That's something I definitely want to talk about. Okay. So Jan, let's talk with you for a minute. First off, tell us a little bit about yourself and how you came to day one. Okay, well, that's a great question. Um, I started journaling in 2008 um, because mm -hmm. that's when I had the chance to go, grow, go, sorry, go abroad to Toronto nice. um, for university for like my nine months. And before I left Germany, I um, had the idea that the time that was ahead of me might be something special, something that I would like to capture in as much detail as possible. Um, and that's when I decided that I yeah, just go ahead and buy a journal and started journaling in 2008 in Toronto. Mm -hmm. I kept the habit when I got back to Germany for a couple of years. And then in 2013, I, well, I decided I want to go digital and was looking for, for an alternative apps, yeah, app solution in this way and um, looked on the app store. And that's when I, when I stumbled upon uh, day one, that was in May, 2013. Awesome. That's early. That's day. That's classic. Mm -hmm. Um, are you are you pretty consistent with your journaling then, like an everyday thing? In fact, yes. In fact, I have been using day one on a on a single day basis since uh, May twenty thirteen. I have captured every single day since then. So, wow. um, what's what's your streak at then? That's what I want to know. <laughs> it's, it's plus. Uh, it's a little over two thousand three hundred uh, wow, entries now. That's impressive. That's awesome. Very well done. That's cool. Good job. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I've done anything that Thanks. many days. We'll breathe. But that's amazing. You breathe every job. day for that many days. I'm I'm happy about that. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. And did you do any converting of your paper journals to day one when you made the transition to digital? That is, in fact, an idea that I got from one of your previous episodes. Mm. I think one of the other um, guests you had talked sure. about that. Uh, that's still in the back of my head. I have not been able to do that now. And I, I think uh, one of your previous guests said that. I think she said that she photographed the entries and just put in photos because yeah. that's a bit more convenient than retyping everything. Yeah. Transcribing uh, but, is a pain. Still, yeah. Yeah. Still haven't gotten to do it. Sure. One of the users in the, in the Facebook group, Joey Harmon was talking about how she takes digital planner templates 
like a PDF and okay. then adds images on top of that and oh. then puts that into day one. Well, that's so fun. It's like a, a f f written or I'm sorry, a photo journal of things that were handwritten. Kind of, yeah, right? but it's yeah. nice design, I mean, really beautiful design stuff. That's cool. The, that's really very creative. Cool. So that's her creativity uh, outlet is to do that for for entries. Awesome. Yeah. That's an impressive streak. I still can't get over that. Uh, yeah, mine is it. Uh, well, I have to add one today. <laughs> that's that's the trick here before I get it. But do a template. On, I know. Oh then, yeah. Then Ooh, I can do a template right yeah. now. Yeah. Um, anyway, can yeah. <laughs> while I'm trying to figure out what my thing is here. That's awesome. So tell us about your journals. Like, what are your what's your strategy for using journals versus tags? And tell us a little bit about your and your journal entries. Yeah, of course. I mean, I, I, I have this one main journal, uh, the one with the uh, more than 2,300 entries. That's sort of my personal journal. This is where I summarize my daily experiences and thoughts. It's really just my personal journal. Mm -hmm. I have experienced with uh, sort of topic-related or different journals for, for other things. Did not really stick to that that much, I have to say. I think one thing that I've um, tried and might still continue is, uh, is a journal called Memorabilia where I take pictures of, of tickets and also physical stuff before I get rid of that. So in, to make it easier for me to, to declutter my home and, and get rid of stuff, um, it, it's just a bit easier if you take a picture, uh, make a quick note where you got that, what, where this is from, and then uh, you can actually get rid of the physical stuff but still have it uh, uh, captured for, uh, well, let's say, in t uh, eternity in, in, in the uh, day one app. Mm -hmm. um, my, I think my, my usage or how I use text might be a bit uh, funny, maybe, or, or well, not, not, not something that you might expect. Well, at least I, I think, um, because I use text only to, um, when I'm not in Berlin. So every, every day that I create an entry that I'm not in Berlin mm -hmm. and in any different city um, in Germany, Europe, or well, in the world, I use the city name as the tag. Oh. Um, so I'm, I am quite aware, and I also, I'm also using the location feature, so all my, my texts are also, uh, my entries are also geotagged, and I, I know where I created these, but I still use the city name as a tag. And mm. what, I mean, this was not, not planned up front, this is something that just, just happened, and now I keep doing that, and what, what is, I mean, the nice benefit for me is that I see in my list of texts the number of days I have been to a certain city. So I know mm. that uh, this city is like after my hometown, the city that I've been to the most, and this is the city that I've been to the uh, third most time. Um, and this is, yeah, this is the way that I use text, and only for this. That's mm -hmm. actually really cool. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I was as I was thinking, maybe this may have been, it might not be his use case, but maybe something I might do in the future is maybe print out books just using that tag. Like, here's all my books I was, oh, you know, in mm -hmm. Toronto. Mm -hmm. Here's my Toronto book. Right. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't that be cool? And yeah. it might be a little more spread out because may, I'm not there all the time, but then I have Over all my Toronto stuff. Yeah. I don't know. That might be kind yeah. of cool. That's a great idea. Tagging, using tags to name the city that mm -hmm. you're in. I think that's really cool. Mm -hmm. Great idea. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about your favorite feature. I know we usually say that for the last, but let's just jump right in. Favorite feature? I mean, that's 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 obvious right i mean i've been using <laughs> day one now in my seventh year and the uh, this on this day feature keeps getting better every every year i mean uh, this is something that you obviously don't appreciate in the first year but uh, once you <laughs> behind that or uh, towards that milestone and you see what have you done on this day one year ago and now for me i can see what i've done one two three like six years ago cool. uh, this is really this is uh, really rewarding so um, yeah, this is really good to see see what I've been doing, feeling, experiencing. Um, I mean, now I've added more pictures um, to my entries. Uh, I've made use of videos, but I don't think that the videos feature is already a year old. So it might take another year for me to appreciate the videos that I take nowadays and also the audio um, that I record nowadays. Because uh, this is also like sort of my, I believe, my second favorite feature. Um, I mean, on this day, this, the the benefits are obvious, but I don't. I mean, I use the camera in my in my phone quite a lot to take photos and pictures, but I don't go around taking audio recordings with an audio recorder app to mm. to to archive in any way. So I only do that using uh, day one. And mm. uh, whenever I have a special moment or I'm in a special location, I want to either record a conversation that I have or want to record the the uh, sort of the environment I just. Uh, I do that with day one, and I wouldn't do that otherwise. And uh, this will be 
also very rewarding, I believe, once I hear the sounds of like one, two, three years to grow in the future. Yes. Yeah. Question. Recently in 4.2, the uh, current date was removed from on this day. And we had a lot of requests about that ever since we launched it. Why, you know, the requests were, why are we including the current date in on this day view? So it was taken out. Mm -hmm. And then we were hearing from some users saying, wait, I liked that. Yeah, <laughs> so it's, it's interesting. Uh, have you noticed that? Has that made any difference for you? Well, now that you mentioned it, yeah, I, 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 I think I've, I've, I've recognized it, but I wasn't entirely aware that there was a change. I, I think I was just uh, confused about the number of entries that I've seen for on this day, that it was more before the updates, and now it was, uh, yeah, like one less. Right. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't mention it, Adam. You, well, you no, but no, I'm, I'm interested in feedback because I think it's interesting. Like, as, we, as I sit here as customer service, we get a lot of feature requests. Right. Of course. And sometimes those are incorporated, and when they are... The, the way it was before was something that somebody else preferred. And so it's, it's, it's interesting mm -hmm. try balance of finding the right fit for what is best for the app and, and general use. Right. Sure. I, I personally like it not there, mm -hmm. but I, you know, I can see why some yeah. people might want it. Yeah. So I was just curious if that was, you know, since that's one of your more prominent features, if that was something that uh, you would like maybe as, as uh, the same day thing or, if it's just the past ones that I care, that's the, that's what I care about personally. So, mm -hmm. do you think there'll be a? Yeah, point? I, I think I don't. Sorry, go no, ahead. No, you go, please. I was just just want to say I don't think I have a strong opinion about that. It's just something that I, re yeah, sort of in the back of my head recognized that this changed. But uh, yeah, I mean, uh, either way, it works well for me. I believe. Cool, mm -hmm. cool, cool. Do you think we'll have trimming or trim and editing controls in the audio at some point? That's that's a great question. You know, I, as I think about it. Um, there's a there's a lot of good editing software mm -hmm. apps out there, and so that's mm -hmm. that's that's what's difficult is how much mm -hmm. do you plug in there right. for specific features, and does that mm -hmm. you know weigh the app down or what they call feature bloat? Sure. So that's I don't know that's something that's what keeps outside me of my from, realm. Yeah, sure. That's what keeps me from doing the audio and video in app because you can't trim now. it. Yeah, because I want to edit what I say sometimes. Sure. It takes me a while to get to the point, so like get no I <laughs> yeah. the highlight in there. I agree. So. Sometimes those ramblings are good, though, right? Just, just sure. brain, brain dump, right? <laughs> sure, that's true. <laughs> that's right. It's good. So you shared with us that you do use audio and video, Jan. And how about the new templates? Have you had a chance to kick the tires yet? Yes. In, in fact, I have, I've, I've tried these out. Um, before you guys had rolled out templates, I already had created um, Siri shortcuts um, with right. sort of Sort of a, a template within the series shortcut, right? Um, because um, I, I, have, I have two shortcuts, and now I have two templates that I trigger with the shortcuts, um, because it has been become it has become like a daily routine for me. That well, I don't want to say right after getting up, but in one of the early mornings of the day, as sort of one of the first hours of the day, I um, I trigger the shortcut that now is. Um, Sort of triggering or running the the template uh, for me to start a blank um, entry and um, well not entirely blank it has uh, whenever I do this from Monday to Saturday uh, I just have a blank headline and the bullet uh, to start the day because my habit is that I uh, just write brief notes and bullets and ideas that I have throughout the day into a um, not very well written list. Hmm. Um, and then I take time either at the end of the day or after two or three days when I have uh, accumulated a couple of these uh, entries, I take time on the Mac version um, to actually add more details and um, correct some typos and, uh, well, add more details to the keywords and ideas that I've put down. Mm -hmm. um, then I pick, uh, based on the two most interesting moments I had or thought, well, yeah, moments or events that I had throughout the day, these usually go into my headline. Uh, so I combine the two most important or sp special things that I, that I had into the headline. Mm. Um, and then sort of I finish it off. What, I, what is different for me on Sundays is that I have two additional bullets that read um, favorite moment of the week and favorite song of the week. So favorite moment of the week, I go back for the past six days and or well, past seven days, to be honest, mm -hmm. and then see which uh, moment has been sort of a defining moment or a special moment or something that I would like to 
give a second mentioning for the for this week. So I write that down again. And um, favorite song of the week could either be something that I've been listening to a lot, or could be something that was playing in the background or uh, on my phone when something special or memorable happened. So uh, that's how, how I try to encapsulate my sort of uh, week in, in, in one more time on a Sunday. And also one thing that I've, um, yeah, let, let me bring this up because one thing sure. that I've um, now recognized with the recent updates is that because my routine involves um, creating the entry on my iPhone um, with the bullets that I mentioned, and then I finish it off on the Mac version. Um, now, most recently, I noticed that the bullets have gone astray, I would say, and yes. it's still in, in the same order, but there's no bullets anymore. Yes, that is that is a known bug. It, uh, From what I understand, it is fixed, but it's still, um, the update hasn't been submitted to Apple just yet, so that is a known issue. Stray bullets. Okay, that's great. Yes. yes. Bull, bull, I, well, there's a couple of different ones that I think the formatting uh, is removed on Mac, and it's. I think it's... Uh quotes bullets and numbered lists mm -hmm. but they're working on a fix right now so nice. yeah right I, I love your monday idea of the one of the week and i think when you're consciously making a point to say what is going to be my highlight at the end of the day for reflection or the next day and then at the end of the week you know you're conscious of it throughout the week to to have something that you want to mention as the highlight for the week yeah so i think you're you're probably more aware during the day of trying to create those events well, and it se you know, it just seems like you would need to be cognizant too, uh, and, and, mm -hmm. you know, recognize those different things. It's it almost sounds like, and forget, I'm not, I don't want to put words into your mouth, but it almost sounds like somewhat of a gratitude journal where you're mm -hmm. reflecting on important moments, or maybe that's a little separate for you. No, that that's all right. That that goes in the direction. This is something that I, I think recently added. I think this I, this is something I added to my routine this year. I believe um, this is not something I've been doing for seven years now. But um, the sort of uh, sort of gratitude uh, angle or mm -hmm. like additional reflection of what happened throughout the week uh, is something that I added once I had the uh, series shortcuts or templates um, created. And um, yeah, in fact, it's it's uh, it's one more time to to actually look back and appreciate what happened. Sure. Uh, and I love that. Let me ask you this, just because I want to pull it out of the practicality and like examine what does it do to us holistically. Have you noticed mental health improvements or, or, or better attitude improvements by doing these kinds of routines versus maybe when you miss a day? Oh, I, I'm not saying you do because obviously you have an awesome streak. But just like, do you think that would be something noticeable if, if you're not able to reflect and, and have that time for introspection? Um. Let me. I, I mean, in the in the last seven last seven years, obviously, I mean, there have been ups and downs. Sure. And um, uh, what I have done, um, well, that's a couple of years ago already. But uh, another feature of of day one that I used, sort of to to sort of do the analysis that you just pointed at, is that uh, um, at the end of the year, or sort of in the first week of the next year, I sat down, opened my day one application on the on the Mac, and counted for every month the number of entries that I have um, tagged or not, not tagged, but uh, um, highlighted. So sort of as a favorite, um, I'm not sure what this is actually called, but uh, that's a, yeah, sort of uh, the, the flag. This is a, a favorite day or favorite entry or oh, yes. highlight mm -hmm. day. So um, what I did is that I counted the number of entries per month that for me were like special enough to be considered as a great day or mm -hmm. as a, uh, um highlight day so and that sort of um enabled me to get at least some quantification out of day one again to see how many days were special in march in 2013 for example well i didn't start in march 13 bad example but how many days were special in march 2015 and how many days were special in march 16 for example so i could do a year over year comparison of saying well I have more favorite moments, favorite days now than I had last year. So mm -hmm. I think things are going well. Cool. That's, I love that. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Uh, but either... this is, this is the purpose, Brett. This is why I love, <laughs> this is why I love our product, yes. right? It's not sure. like an oversharing, like social media is what it is and right. I use it. Right. I, I'll stop disparaging it, uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> but I love when products actually help us be better. Mm. You know what I mean? Of course. Improvement. Yes. And, 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 
that's why I love this product. So sure. anyway, I don't know if either of you saw Mike Schmitz wrote an article on the suite setup about setting up a gratitude journal in day one, yes. just a few weeks ago. Yes. And I'm call out a couple things, Adam, since you said kind of that holistic, like, what do you learn from this? Mm -hmm. A paragraph that stood out. He said, the interesting thing about gratitude is that your situation doesn't have to change at all. Only your perspective does. Learning to look at your situation through the right lens allows you to see things for what they really are and make decisions that aren't clouded by negative emotions or energy. He goes on to talk about a coach that had worked with him on the gap versus the gain. Okay. The idea of we often compare ourselves to the gap, like where we are currently to where we want to be. And we're always striving for that. And sometimes even that gap widens because where you want to be goes out oh, further. Yeah. You kind of re realign those, those goals as opposed to the gain and looking where you came from and focusing on that, oh, like where I am yeah. now versus where I came from. And I just love that approach. And I think gratitude is a great way to do that. You kind of constantly reminding yourself the focus of the gain of where you've come from instead of feeling down on what you haven't done. That's awesome. So yeah, good stuff. Thanks Mike for writing that. He also, uh, well, we'll put a link in the show notes to that article, but it sounds great. a great one. Yeah. Jan, when you talk about a streak like that, what's going to happen if, and when you miss a day? That's not gonna happen. <laughs> Yay, good I don't want to. Don't want to be too bold here, but uh, I mean, I, I've been doing this for uh, more than six years now. Sure. It's, it's really part of of my day. I mean, nice. I I, uh, I I just do that. I just write down what I what I do and see and feel and whatever uh, experience in a way. Um, I, I if if I miss one day, and uh, this might be a bold prediction, this. Uh, might just be because of a of a bug in, in an upcoming version that um, prevents me from launching the app. But uh -huh. uh, I, uh, that might be it. Um, sure, that's great. So uh, as, as one of your previous uh, guests also said, I, I really think this is uh, one for the years, and uh, uh, yeah. this is uh, my my last journal app that I have to to use. Awesome, right, thank you. Do you do printed books at all? Have you done any of those yet? I have. <laughs> I have started. Wait, I, did I jump the gun? Is Apple Pay in Germany? Apple Pay is in Germany, right? Yeah, they, okay. Uh, yeah, they, okay. Sorry. Now they are years of waiting. But uh, um, no, I've, I've actually um, started to um, to to create books in the app, but I haven't actually clicked the button to get them printed and sent to me because I think I wanted to do yearly books, but I think mm -hmm. the page limit was below the number of entries or mm -hmm. pages that I had. That is true. So that. Uh, would have meant I had to split into quarters of a year or something, and then I, I just stopped looking into this, I believe. You know, there um, the team is working on, and this is a little preview for everybody else, but I got an update this morning from one of our engineers that the they're working on improving the PDF export layouts. Mm. It will still be an automatic layout, but it's going to look a lot closer to what you actually see in the app. Because right. Uh, right now we're using a third-party PDF exporter, and it uh, you know some of the photos don't, Depending on how the photo is placed with other photos uh, and text, and depending on if a portrait photo is next to a landscape photo, it might look not as nice as it does inside the app. So mm -hmm. the team is working on a PDF improvement right now that will mm -hmm. also relate to the books, and that might actually help uh, a lot of our users have smaller, or fewer pages uh, needed for some of their journals, especially some of our photo-heavy journalers. So... Stay tuned for that. That might actually uh, that might actually help in your in in that situation. Nice. Yeah. Cool. You know, the templates have helped me with gratitude. The yeah. idea of forcing myself again to think that, and I've I've often thought because when I've tried in the past, um, what am I thankful for? The usual things seem to come up a lot. Right. It remind me of like the password. Like in Safari, if you look under your passwords, you can see there's a little asterisk that says. This has been used more than once. <laughs> yep. Like, yep. I'd love it if prompted me and said, okay, you've used that so many times. <laughs> There's got to be something else you're grateful for. <laughs> you know, try you've again. already said sandwiches, Adam. <laughs> Family. Yeah. It's like overused. Try something else. <laughs> That's what I want, the feature that tells me. Can't use it. It's already been taken. You've used it on 700 days in the last <laughs> three years. You are cheating, so. Brett. That's right. <laughs> Think deeper. Uh, good stuff. Well, I just want to also go over some of the other template ideas that are in the forum. Yeah, can we shoot you those? Want to talk about that. Yeah, in fact, Amber uh, Brennan started a great thread back in the end of September, and it's got a lot of a lot of comments. It's, I really think you should check check it out if you haven't already. Uh, Graham talks about how he just keeps it simple. It's like rate your day from one to ten. Why did you choose that rating? Mm. That's his every day, which I think is awesome. We've talked about uh, Sean's who did the Sean who did the whiskey tasting template. Yep. 
Um, IRM talks about a weight loss journal where she can track her daily, her current weight, her measurements, and space for a progress photo. Debbie talked about a running log template. Um, Avram talks about recapping the day, one sentence, one or two sentences, observations and questions, and lessons for tomorrow, and his tasks for each day. So lots of good ones. Yeah, and like and like I said, I, I think the hope is um, these will be somewhat shareable or, or that you can yeah, share those to lot. other people because I think mm -hmm. maybe on my own, I'd love to collaborate with someone to come up with something. But, you know, again, journals are your personal thing, but sometimes people have really right. great ideas that also resonate. So, Well, templates are easy to copy and paste For as sure. opposed to um, Siri shortcuts, shortcuts are a little bit tougher unless you grab it right directly from the link. Right. But yeah, right. to create your own templates, simple. That's nice. I so. think this 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 has a lot of potential. And obviously mm -hmm. this is a big update from the way we handled templates before, mm -hmm. just through the reminder feature. But I think there's even more things you can do here without without bloating it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yep. I think there's a lot of cool stuff here, so I'm excited. Yes. I'm very excited. Good stuff. Jan, do you have anything else that you can think of that uh, we haven't touched on that you wanted to share? I know you initially reached out because of the Safari, I'm uh, Safari, Siri shortcuts, and you've talked about your Monday, your Sunday, Monday review. Um, anything else? I don't think so. I think uh, we've covered a lot. That's uh, it's great already. Good. Well, we really appreciate you being on here. I think you've shared some awesome tips that our users can can think about how it might impact their own journaling and mm -hmm. uh, this, this, the routine and the habit and the streaks. I'm super impressed with that. Okay. I have, I do have 1,300 entries, but my streak is only 85. So obviously there's okay. some consistency there that I need to work on myself. <laughs> but uh, you know what? What a cool thing it, that is to be able to look back, as you said, and see entries from seven years ago and see where you were at. Maybe, right. uh, maybe if it's not necessarily like a, a um, Looking, looking at how you progressed, at least you can see what was going on back then. Oh, good memories. Mm -hmm. I was just reminded recently, 19 years ago, I competed in the Utah Shakespeare High School competition down in Cedar City, Utah. <laughs> and uh, me and my scene partner won second place. And I took a picture. I scanned in the, the certificate that we got, and I have a little picture of us in there. And it was Love just it. a fun little memory. Love it. Um, so maybe that's not telling me, like, how much I've progressed since then, except yeah. I'm not wearing stage makeup anymore. Um, but... <laughs> but I can have those memories. But then if you do have those ones where maybe I was struggling with something and I've improved sure. since then, and I can sure. go back and see those entries and, re and you know really appreciate just the progress that yeah. I've made personally. Has not enough time passed that you're okay at the second place and not first? Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> good. <laughs> Way to go, just participate. Water under the bridge. <laughs> good yeah. job, yeah, it's great. And I also wanna represent those of us that don't worry about streaks, that just record an entry when we feel like it. Amen. Okay, Amen. What well, we've, we've said this a million times. There's no wrong right. way to journal, right? It's how you want right. to do it personally, and if that's more sporadic or weekly, or yes, then keep doing that. I'm trying to think what's the opposite of a streak. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, I can't. Nothing's we can submit that. new words to Dick, to Webster's. You know, we can make up one, <laughs> sure. an anti-streak, basically. That's right. Right. Okay. <laughs> no, that's that's good. Yeah. All right. Thanks for joining us this week, and thanks stuff. again. Thank you for your patience for uh, for missing a, a week or two. To be two, yeah, it's like a whole month. Right. Uh, but we're back. We're we're in. Well, you missed because I was with that's Johnny. Right. That's right. That's right. That's right. It was We missed the two weeks ago, and we're back today. That's right. Two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome anyway, back, Adam. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, and uh, thank you so much for joining us. We're excited to keep going. Um, join us in the next in two weeks. Right. We'll be back. If you need any sort of help with day one. Check out the links below for our help guides or how to contact support. There's also a link to contact Brett, a link to our community page on Facebook. Um, it has grown to over 5,000 members, and we're really, really excited to see what people share in there. Uh, again, it is designed to be a community to share ideas, uh, bounce things back and forth. If you do need customer support, uh, it might be better to jump on to the support channels. Um, you know, sure. yeah. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to burden our moderators who are Including so kind. You and who are you. so kind uh, yes. on, on Facebook. But yes. thanks, um, Mike and Michelle. But yeah, we're 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 standing ready to help if needed, uh, or go to our help guides on help.dayoneapp.com. So and as always, thanks everyone for listening. <laughs>